that for granted, man. Uh, you know, uh, anytime you get an opportunity to play in there, it's awesome. Um, sorry about that. Um, Milwaukee, you know, that's a state over. Um, you know, I think we're going to get a great following. You know how Cyclo Nation travels. Um, that's going to be awesome. And I mean, we're going to take it one game at a time. But if we do get back to Kansas City and uh, meet whoever it is out there, you know, we're going to have an awesome home court advantage because our fans are definitely going to be out there in full Donovan course. said his phone's blowing up. He said, but as soon as, I get it, as, soon as, as soon as you guys get in the plane or wherever, you know, however you get up there, he said it's going off until you get done. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I told everybody else, they're saying the distractions of guys being from Milwaukee. There is no distractions. You know, we're not going to allow that um, as a team. Those guys know what they got to do. Um, you know, there is no extra time to do anything other than winning. Um, and if we win, you know, that's where the best things happen. And if we don't win, then I mean, they're, they're going to feel it in their chest. Could this bracket have worked out any better? I mean, bracketing? I mean, my gosh. I mean, I love our setup. Um, where would, you might have liked to go to Buffalo. No? Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my brother it's, is the one who, you know, he needs the, the, the family around yeah. all the time and stuff, and I credit him to that, man, and they all make and sure they, they, they hold him down. I didn't see where they got. They're in Buffalo. They're in Buffalo. So yeah. how far is that from your family? That's it's right there. Like I was just going to say. Half. Yeah, so it's yeah. real smooth. But I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm older, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. can be wherever. I just got to win. And, and so does he. But, you know, wherever we ended up, we just got to take care of business. All right. Thanks, dude. So this being the fourth straight year or sixth straight year Iowa State's gone and four for you does that feeling never get old no it never does I, mean, I never take it for granted it's a, it's a tribute to you know the success that you've had in your career um, as a group with uh, a bunch of guys who just want to win and uh, you know it's a tribute to winning I mean, if you don't win you don't get in these tournaments been there every year I've been here at Iowa State so I mean that says it right there uh, some of the, I understand you and some of the other veterans kind of use the UAB game from a couple years ago as an example maybe a warning or something for the younger guys? What, what's the message there? Yeah, it's just a humbling experience that I've been able to go through. And, uh, you know, I haven't gone through that. I'll be able to relay the message that you can't take anybody lightly. And, uh, you know, this is not a UAB team. Not to say that UAB wasn't good by any means, um, but I definitely think they came out and played a little better than they played in the year. Um, you know, Nevada is a great team that's capable of beating, I mean, shoot tons of people in the uh, in the tournament you know so we're not taking them lightly by any means is preparing for NCAA tournament different from a regular season or even big 12 tournament game uh no i wouldn't say that um you know it's just a you approach it like it's any other game when we we're in you know the big 12 conference uh tournament we were saying look it's just a different gym uh, another business day do we got to do we've been playing basketball our whole lives so we're going to prepare for this like we're playing kansas like we're playing oklahoma texas i mean you go down the line um we just prepare the same way all right thanks congratulations